Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Black Factor here today, and I'm playing some Titanfall. I got myself a key. This is my first match right here, experiencing the gameplay. Did a little bit of the training, didn't quite fully complete it. But, time to get my feet and hands dirty in this game. I played a couple of matches, and the gameplay, I have to say, is pretty swell. The gameplay overall is pretty smooth. And the jobs get done so easily, like there's nothing wrong with this game so far that I can tell. Okay, there's a, this is a few bit of issues with the uh, after you die cam and the re replay the system. The sort of doesn't show you back fully each module, it's like it skips a few frames when playing back. If you can figure out what I mean. And in this video I'm just showcasing some of the top plays that I got, some top kills in the first match I played in. I was pretty surprised when the frame rates were pretty even good, pretty good, and that how good people are. I was how good I was doing, and how oblivious people were. I was coming around the corners. Now I, little after I played the first match, I had to think about, wait, there's AI in this game. I didn't think there was AI at first. I thought everybody player was playing by themselves. Then all of a sudden I realized that there is AI characters in the game that I kill. Because I noticed that a name wasn't always coming up after each kill I got. So that's just how it happened. So, gotta go up the stairs. That's a grunt. See, no name. No name again. That's another grunt. Just camp in B. And we'll see if anybody else pops up around here. This game is just flawlessly good. Like, there's nothing wrong with the kills. See, there's a name feed there. The gunplay just feels great, too. Nothing feels underbalanced, overpowered, really. I haven't used anything called a burn card. I really haven't got into that basis yet, so you may not see me using that. I have tried to tighten out. It's sort of good, sort of isn't. Still trying to learn the basis of how to get one going and how to get one moving and get in the right situations and spots. So I don't often call one. I'm just trying to get my uh, feet wet at the infantry basis of it. I am playing the objective a lot, trying to get the win. Because if you don't win, you have to try to escape. And if, it, if your whole team doesn't escape, you pretty much lose anyways. So, haven't haven't played a match yet where the whole team escapes into the pod. So, let's just see how that works out. Killed another grunt around that corner. One guy's quick turnaround, 180 that guy. That guy couldn't get on the steps there. See, now my Titan's ready, probably won't call it in. Another kill there, I'm on a good streak here. Doing pretty good. I'm impressed with how, how good I was doing at first. I was like, wow, I'm doing pretty good for the first round. I, I'm, I'm quite the offensive player, I have to say, when playing Titanfall after a few matches. I've learned a few things. I think I might get into more using the Titan and how to learning it and how to use it. Haven't used the Smart Pistol really. It just doesn't, haven't got around to getting that going. B-Flag seems to be the uh, the biggest point on this map. Uh, not like the double jump feature, and you don't have to get that in any other game. And I also enjoy that the parts of when they tell you what, what objective you're near, and they'll also tell you if there's any enemies in the area, and they're actually uplinking it to each base. It's like someone's always talking to you and telling you what to do in your ear at all times. You always know what's going on. And it's just easier to route yourself of what you're doing. And in case you're unaware and you're in a situation, you just can, they can tell you where you're at and what you're doing. And you've got a kill or something like that. Somebody's in the area after you leave. After that, I got like two levels in one game. And I have to say, Titanfall is a pretty good success. I probably will uh, probably pay for it and get it. It's a pretty good matchup. If you don't have the Titanfall beta, I suggest you get it. It's really entertaining and fun. If you like, I guess, Battlefield 2142 and first-person gameplay and the mixture of it, both of it, and good quality built surrounding gameplay. So thanks for watching. Take a moment to hit the like button and subscribe for more Titanfall videos. So I'll probably put another one out here soon, maybe a little montage of the beta. And uh, catch you later. Thanks for watching.